Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing another pick a card all about who you are destined to meet. So this is gonna be about a romantic partner. So those of you who are single or are looking for um, your romantic partner, your person, then I will have a look into that today. So please choose your group now. We have the crystals on the cards. We have the first group number one with sodalite. We have group number two with rose quartz. Group three with the clear quartz and group four with the little baby citrine. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your support. And if you ever are looking into a private, wanting a private reading with me, all that information is down below. You can message me through email or Instagram if you are interested. As usual, timestamps will be down below in the description box and in the comment section. And please pause the video if you need extra time. So let's get started with group number one with the sodalite. Hello group number one, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the beautiful sodalite. I love sodalite, it's a very gentle crystal, really good for your throat chakra, really lovely soothing energy. I do feel this is actually quite good for those who have a sore throat. I just kind of got that as an intuitive message. So if any of you need a little bit of that um, at the moment, then I would highly recommend. So let's have a look at your message. So let's see what the first card says. So let's see what we have. So we have good cheer. With kind heart and humour free, may good cheer rule, so moted be. That's lovely. Good cheer. Very, very beautiful. And then we have angels of Atlantis. Grace and divine intelligence. And then your main tarot card we have is the five of wands. Frustration and opposition. So this is kind of what you're going through right now. And then I'm going to be having a look into your energy and your person's energy and just kind of how you're going to be connected and how you're going to meet. So I feel like right now I'm getting very much connected to the color blue. I do feel like the color blue is like a really good color for you. I do feel like it's very much to do with Gabriel, with this angel. I do feel as if right now your energy is kind of you're working on being interested in new things. You're looking into things that you probably weren't interested in. And I do see that you're learning about new things. I do feel like you're kind of in a little bit of a stuck energy right now. Um, that five of wands with frustration, opposition, you are kind of working on this new almost, not persona, I don't like really like the word persona, but you're working on this new version of yourself. And I feel like the way you see yourself is definitely changing. I see this as um, the ninth house, which is Sag. So you could be a Sagittarius, or you could be somebody who is just very much into like the depths of things, really researching things on a deep, deep level. So I do feel like for you, it's really important for you to possibly look into something new because you may have kind of overdone it with researching into one thing. And I do feel as if when you kind of concentrate on something, you really, really concentrate on it and you can overdo it sometimes. So what's really important is to step back from this frustration and know that you are doing your best. You are doing everything you can. Sometimes you do have to step back and kind of wait for the next move. And sometimes we can't always do the next move. Sometimes we just have to wait until that next move comes along. So with this grace card, I do feel like it's kind of you moving through things really slowly and just allowing things to happen to you and not forcing and pushing things. And I do feel you need some more happiness in your life in terms of allowing new things to come in. And I do feel like new things are gonna come in. I do feel like when you meet your partner, it's gonna feel much more clearer. It's gonna be clearer. Your life is gonna feel much more clearer. You're gonna be able to understand like why things happened the way they did. And you're gonna feel like lighter, you're just gonna feel much more lighter. So I feel like with your person, the way you're gonna meet is kind of like, I feel like you may have met before, it could have been in the past life. It could also, it feels like you've met before. I feel like when you meet this person, you're gonna be like, I know you, I know you from somewhere. And maybe you can't put your finger on it, but it does feel like a past life situation. It does feel like you've known this person before. They're gonna be interested in everything that you're interested in. Not exactly exactly the same things, but you're both, I'm getting this like really strong fire sign, fire sign um, relationship. And you don't have to be a fire sign, but I am, I'm just getting like a very strong leadership um, kind of companionship. And this connection just feels like you're both extremely intelligent and you're both extremely passionate about helping the world and communities and things like that. You could also be an Aquarius. This person has quite a strong Aquarian-esque vibe. They could be a possible Aquarian rising, Aquarius Mars or, or Venus. They just love community. They love getting people together. They're a very family-orientated person. 
and they're somebody who will always have a group around them but they'll always include you they'll be like a really inclusive energy I just see this this person's also going through this same thing this person's also going through like a really strong frustration and I just feel like it's because of the energies and everything going on around the world I mean it's all the same thing really what's going on around the world is what's going on within us and also the energies everything is just very very intense right now so I do feel like you're feeling a lot of frustration to do with like your path your destiny like where you want to be right now because you're like I'm not really where I want to be but I don't know where it is you know so I do feel like what's important for you is to connect more to your guides and um, this could be through meditation this could be through kind of almost like solitude like being on your own for a little bit like being having like a 20 minute session just by yourself just being in silence or listening to music just being by yourself so you can really kind of allow any new ideas to come towards you because I feel like the way you're going to meet your person is through exploring yourself like what you're interested in and it could be like a new thing that you haven't even found out what it is yet and I'm really getting drawn to like the back of these cards like you know with this kind of this kind of design I'm feeling like things like this so like anatomy you know when you get like um like a book and it has like anatomy like drawings of people and like body parts and things I'm seeing like that sort of thing so you may be into anatomy you may be into bodies um, you may be somebody who's very fascinated with the way a human dynamic it could be a, a psychologist philosophist something like that I just feel like you have a very high intelligence and you have met a lot of people who really aren't on your wavelength so I do feel like you are going to meet somebody who you're very like connected to like they are like perfect and I'm also getting like a very sexual message that if you're looking for a male specifically with male organs I do feel they're going to have a very nice male organ if you know what I'm saying okay so I'm trying to keep a PG right so let's have a look at more in detail about you and this person and the connection between you two so let's see what's going on so we'll have a look at um, where you are and where, you, where your person's going to be so let's have a look at this connection let's see what's going on so let's see how you're going to come in yeah so I feel like right now um, the way your life has kind of turned out is I feel like you feel like you're going backwards and that's definitely not the case it's kind of it feels like that because it just feels quite heavy it feels like a very heavy energy um, this person is working on their stability and so are you I do feel like both of you are working on pretty much the same thing so it's almost like you have to cross this path before you get here sorry if you can't see that because of the light this is the north node and this is Taurus so I do see that the way you're going to be connected is through um, work and it feels like it doesn't even feel like the word work though it's just something you're extremely passionate about it just so happens to be something you're going to get paid for and it does feel like you are a philosopher you're somebody who loves looking into the deep deep parts of things you love the mind you love the way the mind works you're just absolutely fascinated by it you may be more of a logical thinker rather than like quote unquote a you know typically spiritual person you know because you know what is that but <laughs> you know what I mean like someone who's not very fluid with their emotions I feel like you're quite logical um I'm sorry about the lighting guys hopefully I can just like adjust it no it's not gonna work I'm sorry if you can't really see it this is Uranus here and we have mercury so I do feel both of you have very strong views on things and the person you're destined to be with is somebody who's really driven that you've been you've been with people who really aren't driven they're very boring the people some of the people you've been with you and I feel like a lot of you guys can agree with me like they've just been very very dull very very boring very much like ugh, okay why do I even bother um but this person is completely opposite to that and I feel like they're they're the yin to your yang or you're the yang to their yin um, and yeah definitely going to meet this person through a career it could be something where you help other people this is the sixth house of uh, Virgo so Virgo is all about health and it's all about service so I do feel like you're going to be some sort of like a spiritual leader so I do feel like there's lots of different careers that you guys could go down but I do feel like you're searching for your purpose and that purpose could literally be it could even be through family it could be even you meeting this person could be part of your destiny you know you may not even know what you want to be until you meet this person you know sometimes the things like that can happen and obviously you don't have to have a partner to be where you're meant to be but when you meet somebody they could be part of your soul path so much that they shift the way you think about life or the way you think about yourself and what you expect so I love that we have the south and the north node because it looks like when you meet your person it's almost like they are literally part of your destiny um, they could be a Taurus as well I do feel like they're just somebody's very they can be quite stubborn because they do have quite strong views but these 
these views are very fair. You know, they're not somebody who's judgmental. They don't say you're this, you're that. They're like, you know what? I just want best for humanity. For humanity. You know, I want to be able to be a free thinker. I want to think in the way that people are able to speak their mind. And I just feel like this person's very gentle. They have a very, very gentle energy. And they're very, very specific. Like when they meet you, you're going to be really sexually drawn to this person. You're going to be... Um, lustful almost but not in a way that you would like oh, i want to pounce on this person you're just going to be like you know what i, I want to get to know you i want to get to know you <laughs> what is that from i don't know but i just randomly thought of it um oh what is that oh i'm thinking of um, mrs doubtfire if any of you guys see mrs doubtfire there's a part when robin williams is like doing lots of um accents and like um characters and he's like he's like i want to get to know you <laughs> it's really funny Okay, so let's see where you're at right now and let's see where your person is and I'm going to pull you a couple more tarot cards. Let's see where you're at right now. Let's get your crystal card. Let's see what's going on. With Soda Light, I do feel like you are a very strong communicator. You don't hold back on the things that you say, which is really, really good. I feel like you're somebody who's just a really strong person. You've gone through a lot. What's your person going through? I am I am sensing your person's gonna be a male, so I'm sorry if you're not you're not interested in males. You may be more interested in like the masculine energy. I'm just sensing a male. So if you're if you've watched if you're watching this reading and you're like, you know what, I don't want a male, then it could be even like a masculine friend who really um who really just suits your energy. You don't have to be romantically connected to them. Okay, so this is them, this is you. So let's see what you're going through. Rose aura quartz, beautiful. So you're very much connected to your heart chakra. Uh, let's see what they're going through. Sunstone and Blue Ar Aragonite. So they are Leo, Libra, Capricorn. So they're working with their sun and their earth and you're working on the sun and the moon. So this person's working on getting grounded. They're working on their personality and themselves and kind of bringing everything in. This is to do with all of the Zodiac. So I do feel like you've gone through like a really big shift in your energy. Like you've gone through so much quote unquote crap. You know, you've gone through so much with people and you've really, really gone through it. And you are basically discovering who you really are at the core of all of it. So I'm going to read um, this message. But if you guys want to see more in detail of these, I'll put these up to the camera. But I won't read them all because it will take me a very long time. But basically, you're working on your heart's desire. You're working on love. And you're working on bringing in um, like an authentic soul relationship. Okay. So the energy of love vibrates on a soul level, penetrating the body through its many layers of tissue, all the way down to the cells. Rose Aura Quartz is a crystal of love with the ability to shift one sense of self, provide nourishment for your growth, and transform fear and doubts into unconditional love, creating a strong bond to the universe. It creates a synergy between the pineal gland, wow, my left ear is ringing, <laughs> located in the brain associated with your third eye and the heart chakra, infusing your intuition with space to give and receive more love. So I do feel like you've been in a very toxic relationship. I am seeing you arguing with somebody um, and being married to them or being in like a very, very close romantic connection. So you are very, very close to this person. This isn't your person, by the way, that, that I'm describing. This is a past relationship. You've really gone through the ringer with this person. And there's somebody who has treated you like crap. They're very toxic. Um, they were somebody who just wasn't authentic. They couldn't be authentic in themselves. So they kind of took it out on you. Um, but this per now you've kind of been single for a while or you're rediscovering yourself, the person you're going to manifest is somebody who's the complete opposite of that. There's somebody who you actually needed. This is somebody who, oops, wow, I nearly, I did, oh, I'm really glad that I didn't set that alight. Okay, <laughs> okay, right, so we have Sunstone, leadership, confidence and freedom, and they have, and they also have blue aragonite, empathy, compassion and communication. This person's really good at communicating. They are possibly a fire sign or earth sign. There's somebody who just loves you for who you are and they don't, they don't, um, sorry, they're, they're giving me a very sexual message and I'm getting distracted. Um, they don't judge you for who you are. I got like a, an image of literally like a woman's, you know, the JJ. I literally just got that in my mind. And what, what they're showing me is they really appreciate women. And this can be a woman or a man or whoever, whatever gender you're attracted to. This person just really appreciates femininity like, and I love that. Like, they really, they genuinely love feminines. And this doesn't have to be they love women. They, they could be, you know, into men. But they just really respect feminine energy. And it just feels really lovely. It just feels like they're very, very balanced within their masculine and their feminine energy. I'm just seeing they really respect women and, 
and what they do for the planet and things like that. I just find that very, very fascinating. They could even be a woman, you know, I just feel like they, this, this individual really respects the feminine energy and, they, and with that they respect nature, they respect animals, they're just really, really lovely and I friggin love this energy, it's so beautiful, they're very non-judgmental and yeah, absolutely beautiful, I love this guy, it's such a gorgeous energy, so let's have a look and see what animal they're representing right now, we're going to put these two together um, and then we're going to see what wants to come through, so let's see how you are in this relationship. Oh, I love that. I'm hearing cutie. You're such a cutie. So I feel like you're going to bring this lovely light energy, very cute, very subtle, very, very powerful. They're going to be guided towards your light, which is so cute. Oh, this is why I love doing love readings. It just makes me so happy. And then we have the owl. Oh, so cute. So as you can tell from that card we had with that divine, was it divine? Let me see. Divine intelligence. This person here is a very wise owl. And both of you are air, represented by air here. So you're very, very similar, but you're also very different. So you wouldn't put an owl and a firefly together. You'd think, oh, the owl would eat the, fi the, fi the firefly. So it's interesting because it's kind of like an unusual dynamic that you wouldn't expect you both to be. But you are. You like really, really suit each other. So let's have a look at the relationship that you're going to have with this person. Yeah, very, very busy. Um, both of you are going to work together. You are both very, very connected um, with your soul's purpose and when you meet each other you might be in a little bit of a bumpy road you might be like okay well I don't I don't you know I'm not ready for a relationship and at the end of the day no one is ever ready for anything really you just gotta go for it so I feel like you don't have to be perfect to be in a relationship okay you don't have to be perfect with your mental health with your body with your any, anything you are perfect the way you are and if you feel like you're you know you're not that then that's totally fine, girl. You know, you just you just look after yourself and that's that's enough. As long as you're being conscious of who you are, that's enough, you know? And even if you are very confused with where you're at right now, it doesn't mean you're not gonna manifest this. It just means that this person could even help you through that, you know? So I feel like in terms of timing, or oh, we have the fish underneath, very intuitive connection, very spiritual. Um, I'm gonna roll some dice and we're gonna see about this connection. We're gonna see kind of uh, what wants to come through. So um, let's have a look. I'm just gonna roll, whoops, I'm gonna roll this number. We're gonna see how long it's gonna be. Okay, so we have the number eight. So this could be the eighth month. Um, I am sensing this is about two. I'm sensing number two as well. So it could be between two years to two months, um, something like that. It feels like number two, like duality, like both of you are just really connected to each other and it just feels really, really lovely. So last thing, let's get you some tarot and let's see what the journey you're gonna be taking to get to this person and kind of what you're gonna go through before you meet them. So let's have a look. Let's just use the, the normal tarot, I think. Let's see. If we get the two of wands, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> oh, I love the Four of Wands. That's my, one of my fave cards for relationship readings. I'm just getting like a bear. This person loves hugging. Oh, they have such a lovely energy. They're so Taurian. Like they're very um, soft. They're very gentle. They're just very, they just love. Oh, two, love that. Two of Cups, yeah. So when I, what I'm seeing here is you're gonna be changing your environment. So you most likely will have moved by the time you meet this person or you'll be thinking about moving. There's some sort of shift in your environment. It could even be that you're having um, renovations on your house. You might even move to like a tiny home. Um, you may move to the woods. I'm hearing you might go off the grid. Something like that. It's like you massively change your environment and it could be this person initiates that change within you. Okay, justice, three of pentacles. So you're going to get justice for everything you've gone through. You're going to get like, um, what's the word please? Evidence, thank you. You're going to get evidence that everything's going to work out the way it's meant to. And the more you speak in your power and speak your truth, um, you're going to be guided towards your path. And I do feel like your voice is extremely important. If you have Gemini very strongly in your chart or you have it like in your Mercury, you are just somebody who loves to speak their truth. You're extremely poignant is that the right word with with your voice it's just you're very specific and that is for a reason um it's basically because you're meant to find somebody and connect with a group of people and a and a community who just really understands you and, and it's going to be amazing and, and as you can see like this this connection feels really easy it feels like as soon as you've shifted onto this energy here which i don't see is going to be too long it may feel like a different lifetime but it's not that far away it's because like this is a completely different life than what you have now. 
Um, but you're, basically, the more you work on yourself, the more you're going to be connected to this person. You both are on a very similar path. So thank you so much for watching, lovelies. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you'd like a private reading with me, just please um, Instagram message me or email me if you want to get in touch. I have lots of different rates. So if you would like to look at my rates before you contact me, then you're totally welcome to do that. Um, all of those are in the description box down below. Um, sometimes they slightly change, but you know, most of the time they stay the same. And if you want to have a look at my crystal store, all the information's down below for that. I am adding some new things every now and then. So please check that out if you want to see. Um, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, my lovely group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So we're going to have a look at the cards um, around you first and then we're going to have a look at your connection and your person and all that jazz. So you guys chose this Rose Quartz Tumblestone as usual. Rose Quartz is for unconditional love. It's a very soft energy. Um, it just helps you support and love yourself and just kind of love all parts of you. You know, it's very accept it's very unconditional accepting crystal. So if you're struggling to accept yourself right now or accept where you are, this can help just kind of guide you. Also, I would highly recommend rose quartz for sleeping as well. I actually have a um, bracelet available in my shop. It's called Sleep Well Bracelet um, and also, also sell raw rose quartz. Highly recommend. This is not a plug for my shop. I genuinely have tried and tested these things out and they work for me. So if they, if you're curious, uh, that will be in the description box down below to check those out. But Rough Rose Quartz, girl, is amazing. So any crystal in rough form, I, I feel like is the most powerful. Anything in its natural form. So let's have a look at your um, energy right now. Let's see what you're going through and how you're preparing for this relationship coming in. Reverse? Yes, they're saying definitely in the reverse. Right, you guys are definitely ready for a new start. Holy crap. Um, right, so the, the main one I'm getting drawn to right now is this card here. This is a Ten of Swords. So it has karmic lessons and it says only upwards, which I love because it's funny because it's in the reverse. So I love that this is in the reverse because you guys are now moving through very, very thick, strong karmic lessons. Like you guys have been through it, girl. It feels sludgy. It feels like sludgy, sludgy mess that you have to go through to get to the other side. It's kind of like when people step on those hot coals and it's like, you gotta go through it to get to like another part of it. It's kind of like a hero's journey kind of deal. And I don't ever really talk about hero's journey. So that is definitely not coming from me. It's coming from spirit. It just feels intense. It feels like you guys have had to go through this to find out, okay, I really do have a lot of strength. And you're gonna find love. You are gonna find love. We have love here, Sandalfon. Um, apologies if I don't, don't pronounce that name correctly. I just see that you are being guided and it might not feel like it, but you really are. Like um, we have safe home. I cast a circle round about safety now is beyond doubt. And then we have grace. Grace, blessing, come to me, come to me to set me free. I feel like this is not judging yourself. I feel like you can be quite judgmental on yourself, quite harsh on your journey, on the way that you see things, um, on the way you react to things. It can be like, you know, it, it's kind of like one way or not. It's like, <laughs> it's like, I feel like you guys are quite fixed in your thinking, um, which isn't a bad thing, it's a good thing. You're, you have a lot of staying power, but you are now ready to go into a new cycle. You're ready for something new. And I do feel like you guys are really, really working on friendship and feeling safe within yourself. I feel like those are the main things you're working on right now. That love energy is always with you. Um, they're telling me that it's always with you. It's always within you. And I know it can feel quite stuck sometimes, which is it's interesting because you have love and you have rose quartz. So I really love that. So that's really amazing. Um, so this is the only one card that has love on it in the whole deck. So, you, and you guys got it. So that means you, you're gonna get this love connection. This love connection is gonna be unlike anything you've ever felt before. This is not gonna be something that you just like pick up. Oh my God, I'm sorry. They, they're telling me a really funny thing. They're saying, this isn't just like a person you just pick up in a car park. Like, <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about, but. <laughs> This, it's not just somebody that pick that you pick up off the street, you know, like trash. Like, you know, when someone just throws trash down, it's not something you just pick pick up and it's just, you know, it's there. This is something, but wait, no, no hate to like any, I don't know what I'm talking about guys, but basically something that's not just rubbish. It's something that is meant for you. It's not something that, okay, you're not getting the crumbs of something. You are getting the ultimate connection you're not getting like half a present you're getting like a full-on present with extra bits with a bow and lace and friggin like nice wrapping paper 
can fit in the whole shebang. So, don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> my guys are just so funny sometimes. I don't even know. They're just, they're so sassy, like, honestly. <laughs> okay, so, um, anyways, so <laughs> I feel like with this karmic lesson and only upwards, this is perfect because it's basically telling you, I know things have been really shit this year or recent years or just recently for you, it's been shit. You are coming into a brand new cycle. It just feels tough right now because any, everything is, is pulling out of your life because it's meant to not be there. You know, you're meant to have more stability, more happiness, more love, more sustainability, more comfort. Okay. It's there for you. It's coming. And it's just, it's taking its sweet, sweet time, girl. <laughs> it's taking its sweet time. Um, but it's coming. Okay. I feel like I need to pour you one of these cards. Um, I'm just going to get these cards out of here. These are the um, affirmators card. I just feel like I need to pour you one of these. Um, I'm being guided to. So let's grab one of these. Okay. Let's have a look and see what's going on. Okay strength oh my god okay so it says you are hereby declared a strong resilient warrior of he heroic proportions enjoy your battles whatever they are because you're guaranteed to come through them stronger brighter and more compassionate and based on what i know of mythology probably with great hair and a six pack okay and then you also have sanctuary good for you it seems you've earned some time away from the chaos of life it could be as small as a bubble bath or as big as a trip, or maybe it's a small trip to a big bubble bath or a normal sized trip to a tiny bubble bath, or maybe you tripped and fell in someone's bath. Whatever it is, it's waiting for you with open arms. Just pick your favorite sanctuary and unplug for a bit, especially if, you, if a bath is involved. Oh my God. So, so yeah, I feel like it's definitely to do with allowing yourself to have calmness, allowing yourself to um, know that you don't have to be busy all the time to feel like you're doing enough because even if we're doing absolutely nothing, we're still being, you know, we didn't come onto this planet to be practical. We came here to be authentic, which is the tea, sis. That is, that is the friggin' tea right there, isn't it, really? Um, okay, so let's have a look at your connection with this person. Let's see what's going on. So let's see you in this connection. Let's see it give you some advice. Let's see what wants to come out. Come on, little card. There you are. Thank you very much. Sunstone, that's actually what group number one got, but in a different position. So let's see who your person is. This is uh, Lazulite. Very rare, I'm hearing. I don't know if Lazulite is rare, but I'm hearing this is very rare. Um, so this is literally like a rare encounter. You've never, I don't feel like you've ever met this person before. You may not even feel like you've met them before, which is interesting because this could be a past life connection, but it feels like somebody you're like, I don't recognize you, but. I feel like I have to be around you because I feel connected to you. It's that sort of energy. Okay, so that's the connection. Underneath we have Big Spite. Ooh, timing, action, change, girl. That is interesting. If you guys want to have a little read of that, go for it, girl. Hopefully that um, is focused. Okay, so this is you. Oops. Sunstone, and this is them. Cosmic serenity and peace. Beautiful. So we have Sunstone, leadership, confidence and freedom. This rules Leo and Libra, sun. Sunstone shines bright, igniting willpower underneath the sun's ray. A stone of leadership, sunstone gives you the courage to step out of your, your own and dare to make a difference. Radiating warmth and vitality, sunstone brings confidence to the beholder and is known to bring good luck. Fortuous in nature, sunstone brings out your natural talents, allowing you to shine like the star you are. Sunstone helps fulfill karmic contracts, alleviating pressures around a sense of purpose or fulfillment. Abundance will flow once you nurture your gifts. My ear, my right ear is really hurting, like inside, I feel like someone was poking my ear. So I don't know if you guys have been getting that as like a download or anything like that, but damn, that really hurt. Um, I feel like somebody is getting messages to you and you might not be able to hear them. So possibly sit, sit still for a little bit and kind of uh, zone into that energy. So I'm not gonna read this whole thing because it will take me a long time, but basically this is talking about um, cosmic, cosmic serenity and peace. This is ruled by Gemini, Sagittarius, Jupiter. This is all about the third eye, okay? <coughs> this person is a very strong, <coughs> okay, my throat shot, guys, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <coughs> this person is working on connecting to their uh, crown chakra and their third eye and their throat. They may come into um, being a medium, 
okay, quite recently into meeting you and that could be how you meet them. So you may be a medium or you could be somebody in the spiritual community. You're very connected to the spiritual community. Um, you're just very fascinated by it or that's just the way you, way you live. That could be just your lifestyle. Um, you have that in common. You're very, both very spiritual. You're learning to become confident within yourself and leading and having freedom within your choices and know that your choices are not anyone else's choices, they're yours, okay? Own them, friggin' own them. I'm hearing just friggin' own them, girl. And I feel like you had a grandma or an or a, um, a feminine energy that just really taught you how to be independent. And I felt like the light just went down a little bit. There's definitely some intense spirits around me right now. They're friggin' going for it, girl. Um, the person you're going to meet, they could be a Gemini or Sag, Leo or a Libra. They could be an air sign or fire sign. There's somebody who's just very darty. They, they dart about a lot. There's somebody who... Um, they may have slight ADHD, and by the way, we all have that on some sort of level. You know, we all have a brain that works in a different way. Some of us, you know, are on a different scale. Um, but basically, this person uh, also, by the way, ADHD doesn't have to be in an, in, in an intense way. They could just have it just slightly, and that can come in the form of just being perfectionists. You know, obviously, I'm not diagnosing it, <laughs> but I'm just saying like we all have slight variations of different essences within our brain, within our mental health. Um, and essentially ADHD is just somebody who's just extremely intelligent. There's somebody who thinks differently. There's somebody who, um, as I say on different levels, there's different variations of it. This person is just extremely intelligent. Um, they're, they're very spiritual. They're very specific. They, they could have Virgo really strongly. Um, but they, they think so much. They got, they, they do overthink quite a bit. you I feel like you're the more stable one in this connection. They're not unstable, but they are very, they are an overthinker. Okay. There's somebody who will constantly think, 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 think because they're extremely artistic or they're very out the box. So a lot of the times when they were younger, they put it, could have gotten picked on, um, because they're very different. And I do feel like when you meet this person, they could have long hair, um, male or female, obviously, depending on what gender or whoever you're interested in. I see for those of you who are interested in males, they definitely will have long hair, I feel, um, if that's something you're interested in. Very kind of um, authentic. They look very authentic. Like when you meet them, you're gonna, be, you're gonna feel really, really comfortable in their presence. And they are some, some sort of spiritual leader. They like to help people with their words. Um, they love the color blue. They, they could be religious as well. Um, obviously not every spiritual person represents a religion. You know, you don't have to be religious to be spiritual. Um, and you don't have to call yourself spiritual. You know, I don't call myself spiritual. I, that's just my way of life, girl. <laughs> I just want authenticity for the world and peace and harmony. <laughs> uh, but this person could be very, very religious. They could have, or have come from a religion into spirituality, you know? So I do feel like this person is very connected to um, their angels. Uh, they, they do like to talk about heaven and um, heaven and hell or heaven and, you know, those sort of things. They like to they like to have factual in, or just like a different perspective on things. So, yeah, it's up, it's up to um, kind of interpretation. So let's have a look at, at you. By the way, they don't have to be religious, by the way, guys. That just could be an option for some of you. Okay, so you're the rabbit in this connection. Beautiful. I love the rabbit. It's one of my favorites because it's just such a cute energy. It's just such a harmless energy. Look how different you guys are. I love that. Oh my God. You're so similar, but you're also very different. So this is water and this is earth. So you both are extremely um, diligent. So you feel very comfortable in your environment. Like you, when you're with this person, they're gonna make you feel super comfortable. They have a very Leo essence to them. They don't have to be a Leo but they feel very homely. They feel like, oh yeah, do you know what? I feel so comfortable in this person's presence. I don't feel judged. I feel like I can be myself. Um, they're somebody who flows just really easily with things. They're very good with children. They're very good with um, erratic energies because they are very a very fast thinker. They can resonate with children very much because they have a very fast mind, um, very much like children. They're always discovering things and they've never lost that. Um, it could be the tip of the scale where when they were growing up, they were quite immature and now they suddenly like matured, um, something like that. So if I look at the relationship, whenever I see stingrays, a lot of the time it's either I'm drawn to Moana, <laughs> the film Moana, because there's a stingray in that, 
um, and it's very like the spirit of the stingray is represented. Um, but also I'm, I'm picking up on when you go to like um, aquariums and there's stingrays in the tanks and kids are like touching the stingray and the stingrays don't give a flying F. <laughs> they're just like, they're still going, they're very slow, they're very calm. They're just like, oh no, it's fine, you can touch me. You know, it's okay, I like it, you know? <laughs> so it's kind of like, they're very chill. Um, sorry if I just hit the microphone, by the way, guys. This, this person's very intense. They do have a lot of um, views on transition. So something to do with, uh, so they could be a medium. So when I say transition, I mean that they could like get downloads. So it's kind of like they get um, messages from the ethers, they translate it into words. Something like that, they could be a language instructor, musician, something like that. They translate the um, non-physical into the physical. So say if they write a song, they'll take it from their mind into the music, out there into the world, that sort of thing. The tarantula, I feel like very, very sexual connection. So, okay, you may not be interested in this person at first because it's not a karmic connection. Um, Obviously, uh, this is my interpretation. Not everyone doesn't have to agree with me. For me, um, I actually learned recently from someone called Jennifer Hoffman. If anyone knows who that is, she's amazing. She was talking about karmic connections and how when you're like directly connected to somebody, not all the time, but sometimes, it can be a karmic connection because you have like instant attraction and you need that from that person. Sometimes when you're not attracted to somebody, it, could, it just means that they are literally could be your kindred spirit and you don't have a karmic connection with them. Um, not all the time, but a lot of the time because you don't need that from them. So with tarantulas, not everyone likes them. You know, not everyone likes, well, not everyone likes any animal sometimes, but especially with tarantulas, they can be freaking scary and very hairy. And <laughs> I didn't mean to rhyme, but this person, the connection is kind of like unlike anything you've ever experienced. It's like scary because it's so beautiful because you, I think you're used to drama a lot of the time and um, it can just feel like, oh, this is too easy. What's wrong, <laughs> you know? Um, and there's nothing wrong, girl. It, it's beautiful. Let it be beautiful, you know? Let it be kind of weird and unusual and a little bit freaky, a little bit freaky. <laughs> All right, so, oops, I just moved my feather. Stay. Okay, let's have a look at the timing. All right, so it's gonna be when you change something very intensely, when you go for a very drastic inner change, okay? Um, this, I feel like this person could have even been a politician or something. They, I'm, um, okay, no, no judgment, but I'm hearing they saw the light of day, okay? They saw kind of the corruption within the, the societies and they were like, I don't, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> I can't deal with it anymore. I need to be on the more spiritual side of things. So that's kind of what they did. Um, it could be that they didn't want to do a certain job anymore and they suddenly changed their career. Um, I do feel as if you're going to be around a new set of people when you meet this person. It's going to be like a new set of people. You could meet them within, um, it could be 2025. It could be the fifth month of something, like the fifth month of the year. So May, is that right? They could be born in May. I'm seeing like Capricorn, something to do with Capricorn. So it could be from the Capricorn age into the Aquarian age. But I just see number five being very, very significant. It's going to be around a drastic change. So I'm not sure about the specific timing, but just take it as it resonates. Could even be on like the fifth day of the week. You know, I don't know, something like that. So let's get you some tarot and let's see what's going on with you guys and your the way you're connecting and how you're going to connect and things like that. So let's have a look at that and see. How is group number two going to meet their person? That is exactly the same card as what group number one got. This is a very, um, it must be like a collective thing. Okay, you're learning to let go of things. I'm not sure if this isn't, okay, it's in the reverse. I'm not sure. No, it is in the reverse, okay. So this, you're learning to uh, let go of things that are unstable. And um, this person could be abroad. They're from a very different background than you. Uh, pretty much opposite sides of the world. So when you meet them, it could be online as well. Yeah, a lot of you guys are gonna meet online through a community of some sort. You're both gonna be invested in a certain path. Like you, you really wanna help humanity and assist humanity. And both of you are gonna be, when, when we can travel, you guys are gonna travel and you're gonna connect with each other. I'm seeing like um, a connection between Australia and India 
something like that. It's very, very random countries. I know it's kind of very random, but I've just seen like a very strong connection between the two countries. And you're both going to be extremely spiritual and very, very sexually attracted to each other. But it's going to be very like divinely timed the way you connect with each other. And you might be getting a bit impatient with the universe right now, but it's it's coming, guys. And we have the Ace of Cups too. So look at that. Isn't that that's gorgeous? I love the Ace of Cups. One of my favorite cards. Yeah, you're just gonna feel really comfortable within each other's presence. It's gonna feel very easy, very easy, very new, very different. It's gonna feel kind of confusing because you're thinking like, oh, I don't know if this is the right connection. It feels too easy, um, but it's gonna feel really nice. It's gonna feel like angels have descended, the universe has granted you your ultimate wish, boom, Christmas, birthday, wrapped in one, okay? <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you feel drawn to. Um, if you would like a private reading, all the information is down below. You can email me or message me on Instagram if you're interested. Thank you so much just for being here. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. We have the <coughs> clear quartz. <laughs> we have clear quartz. So let's have a look at uh, you guys' energy and then we're going to have a look into your connection and this person, etc., etc. So we have divine guidance, whispers, for, oops, sorry, there's a bit of candle on my uh, table. Whispers from the beings who shine, let the messages be clear and kind. True love come to me. True love shall come to me as I do will so mote it be. Love that card, especially in a relationship reading. Love, 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 love. We have Shamael, serenity. And when the main energy we have is the priestess, illumination, and knowledge. I love this card. That is stunning. I love her braids as well. It's so pretty. Okay, this energy is really powerful. Like, I want to just hold on to this card for a second. So, I feel as if the energy between you two, um, you and this particular person, I'm hearing you could actually be connected to a group before you meet this person. So, it could be you're connected to um, like a group of people, like your soul tribe. And then you meet your person. They're in that within that soul tribe, because I'm hearing like you don't really want a relationship. Like you don't need one. You want one, but you're not too bothered. You're kind of like, Do you know what? I just want someone who supports me, and that's kind of all I'm asking for right now. So I feel as if because you're in that energy, you're really open to the best connection you can have because you're not judgmental on how they come in into your life. And I just feel like this person is just gonna feel. You're gonna feel like you're most powerful when you're with your person. And I feel like you're learning to embrace your authentic feminine power. And everyone has masculine and feminine energy. So just take that as it resonates. I just feel like you're connecting more towards your... I see this as a rose as well. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it just feels very sensual. It feels like you're learning to connect more with your body and understanding your body. Like you're learning, what are my triggers? What, what makes me feel uncomfortable? What makes, what makes me feel comfortable? Where do I see myself? You know, how, how do I want to attract... How do I want to be in my relationships? Um, how do I want to spread my energy around? You know, what do I need to do to protect my energy? You're just very connected to who you are. And the priestess is a very, very powerful energy. She rules the moons, you know, she rules the tides. She creates, I'm hearing she creates the, the tidal change. And I'm hearing that's a big responsibility. But it's also, it's just to do with like being really super connected with nature just being one with everything and not judging your path. I feel like you're somebody who just wants peace, you know, for this planet. And I feel like recently you've been quite upset with what's been going on around the world. It's been very much affecting you. So if you are very empathic and you can actually feel the pain of that, try to move away from it, okay? Because you you don't want to kind of attach that to yourself because this is out of your control, essentially. If, as long as you're working through these emotions by yourself, that's enough. And like this girl here, she's putting her hands to our heart just giving yourself that love and knowing that this will sort itself out. It's not up to you to control or change or anything like that. I do feel like things are going to become clearer to you and you are going to get clearer with things. Your life is going to be so much more peaceful than where it's been. Girl, honestly, you've been through so much. Um, your life's been literally like an hourglass and you know where they turn it upside down? I feel like you've literally thinking, okay, when, I, when I'm done with this season of change, I'll be there and then it doesn't happen. And then you'll, you'll feel like you're gonna be there, but you're gonna be there and nothing happens. And you're constantly turning this, your life is constantly turning this time um, time dial. What did I just say? Sand dial around. And it's like constantly turning, you're like, okay, when I'm done that, then that will happen and it doesn't. And you get really disappointed. And it's because 
you're needing to go through lots of different changes to get to your person because you are very, very special. You are somebody who is very connected to spirit guides. You are literally so connected to spirit. It's actually uneffing real. Like you are literally not of this planet. I wouldn't be surprised if you're a star seed, if you're an earth angel, if you're a pixie fairy, you know, whoever you connect to, girl, you are not human, <laughs> okay? You are one of the people that have had a very, very hard life and you have kind of lost touch with, or may have felt like you've lost touch with spirit guides recently. And it's because you've had such a hard time and you just gotta be really kind to yourself because true love is coming to you. It really is. And it, and it comes through you just being your authentic self and you expressing yourself and being free to be who you are and knowing that your ideas are different because you are special. You are different than a lot of people. And why the hell would you wanna be the same as everyone else as well? Um, it's very overrated. <laughs> so I love her eyes. They're very intense, but they're really beautiful. Like they're very open. So she's a little bit scary looking to me, but she's also very like open hearted. And I feel like because you're such an empathic person, you're very open. Um, it's, it's scared a lot of people who aren't open. And those people don't deserve to be in your life because they need to do the healing. And that's not your job to fix them, to change them, to move them, to fix or shift. You are you are basically sorted. I feel like you are. I don't feel like you need to do a lot of healing really, obviously within yourself and of yourself. But I feel like you're in a very serene place right now. I feel like you guys have really come into a very lovely, peaceful energy and you are being guided to a clearer path and things will become clearer. They will. And we have the clear quartz here as well. So I feel like you are becoming much clearer of what your needs are and having your needs met, how you want your needs met, how you want to be appreciated and just how you want to set yourself up in this lifetime, like how, where you want to be, you know. Um, I want to pull you a couple more cards before we move on because I feel like I want to just pull you another angel card. They're just saying get another angel card out. So let's get you one more. Let's see what group number three has. Oops. I am present. Ooh, another purple one. Okay, let's get you one more. And then we have Sandalphon Planetary Cycles. Yeah, so you definitely have been connected to the collective recently. And there's a lot of forgiveness around the world, like learn to forgive ourselves, um, forgiving the possible guilt we feel around things. Um, and just knowing that things have been really difficult and things are starting to come up to the surface and it can be very jarring. But this is what's meant to happen so we can be authentic because what's happening around the world, it's not authentic, it's cracking because it's not authentic. The Aquarian energy is extremely authentic and to be in that energy is to feel love. You know, we have to feel love to, to be appreciated, to be, appreciate ourselves. So if, if you're feeling like that and you're struggling and you're like, okay, when is my person coming? Am I actually going to have someone? F yes. I'm trying not to swear. F yes, you will have that. Okay. So I'm hearing, I promise you, you will get somebody. You will have a connection of a lifetime it's just not the usual connection. It's not gonna come just like that. It's, it's gonna come through you finding who you are because you're very, very special and you're, you don't wanna just attract someone who's toxic or someone who's just nothing. You want somebody who's you. You want somebody who is of your energy, you know? Because if you have that energy in your life, you're gonna be a, you're gonna be um, kind of affected by it. You want somebody who's you, you know? So, whew, okay, <laughs> let's see what your energy is. A very strong blue, a blue card. Oh, and we have a blue card. Love that. Okay, yeah. I was really connecting. Is this a lepidolite? Oh, lapis azuli. Okay, very similar. Love that. Okay, very much through your throat chakra, and just getting clear on your boundaries, getting clear on who you are. Let's have a look at your person. So this is more interconnection between you and your person. So now we're looking into that relationship. Underneath we have. Oh. Cacoxinite. Wow, that's very intense. Interconnection, ascension, and attunement. Lovely. It says, Cacoxinite asks you to look at your challenges as lessons and wonder what can I learn from this. Perspective is everything, and embracing positivity and choosing your thoughts be become easier and easier. Sagittarius moon. Lovely. So, looking out for things that are like looking at things from a distance. So, 
your person. I love this, this reminds me of like Halloween. So you could be born around Halloween time or just love autumn or things like that. Or you could have had, you could want like a Halloween party or something like that. Something to do with Halloween. I'm getting really connected to that. So this is your energy. Lapis Azuli, royalty, transformation and immorality. Oh, sorry, <laughs> immortality. <laughs> okay, so Regal is in, sorry, okay, I'm gonna start again. Regal in all forms, Lapis Azuli was most prized and sought after in ancient Egypt when it was believed to have powers of immortality and the ability to expand the heart's capacity for love. Exactly, beautiful. Lapis Azuli guides the soul and protects its journey from life to death. Ooh, I got a really strong, like, powerful energy coming from that. True wisdom comes from within and Lapis Azuli facilitates that by unearthing your core truths, this stone appears when you are ready for spiritual transformation and takes you to the depths of who you are, unveiling deeper awareness so that you can become the leader of your own life. I need to burp. Excuse me. Sagittarius Venus, beautiful. I'm gonna leave that open like that. Okay, your person. Black Onyx and Citrine Spirit Quartz. Ooh, lovely. I wanna eat that. Why do I wanna eat that? I don't know why, it just looks yummy. Okay, maybe I need to eat something, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, right, Onyx, autonomy, self-discipline and command. And then this says intentional self-awareness discernment. Your person could be a Sagittarius, could be Sag Saturn. This person could also be, um, have a very strong sun or moon sign. So it could be Leo sun, uh, Aries or uh, Sag. Um, could also have a very strong moon sign or the same moon or sun as you. So this person, I'm not gonna read this entire thing, but if you wanna have a look at this, please feel free to do so. Your person is very self-disciplined. They command a room. They're somebody who has very strong views on things, very self-aware, very discerning. They're intentional. Like everything they do is for an intention. And sometimes they can overthink it a little bit because they're so um, like earthy. They're very, they're somebody who likes to do things for a purpose. They don't just do things for the sake of it. And there's somebody who, um, you don't have to, basically you don't have to cleanse yourself after being with this person. This person is on your vi vibration. It's so easy that you're going to be like, why did I ever get attracted to those people in the past? You're going to be like, why did I do that to myself? I don't actually know. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be something like that. Um, this person has two different versions of themselves. They're very delicate, but they're also very intense. Okay. Very scorpionic actually. Um, they're very delicate, but they're very intense. So there's somebody who, who likes to see the underworld of things, the underbelly of things. They love looking into things very deep. They love archeology span or Egyptian times. They love anything that has secrets. They love all that stuff. They, they get like a high off of it. <laughs> um, and there's somebody who they're very self-aware that they love aliens and things like that. They love intergalactic energies. Um, you're gonna be going for a massive transformation. Before you meet this person, you're discovering who you are, okay? You are not, I'm hearing you are not your mother, your father, your siblings, you're not your friends, you are you. You are not any of those people. And I actually have a quote on my phone that I'm gonna tell you guys, because I found it um, really nice. I found it really interesting. So let me just grab it here. My growth came when I realized that I do not have to experience life the way I have been told to, which I find that is so extremely powerful because a lot of the times, if you are very sensitive, you do take energy off of other people because sometimes it's confusing you know sometimes we're like we don't even know who we are and we can get very um concerned with other people because we care um and sometimes you just need to step back girl and this person's also very good at planning they will plan everything for you um they also will include you it's gonna be a very 50 50 relationship it doesn't even feel like a relationship it feels like literally like a soul experience which is perfect so so let can see. Both of you really like the same films, I'm hearing. Like, you both love the same films. Um, want this one? This is for them? This is for them. Okay. So, yeah, you, you are very spiritual, but you're also very earthy. Um, you're somebody who's very connected to the earth plane, but you are extremely spiritual. You're very um, watery. You're very, very watery um, in sense of, like, your emotions are very flowy. But you can also get kind of dragged under by your emotions. So if you've had anxiety or depression... Um, suffer from ADHD, anything that's kind of um, your emotions and mental health are kind of like uh, turned up. It, it, it's basically you're having to really work on yourself to find balance because you're very sensitive, okay? And sensitivity is so powerful, okay? So don't ever think that that's a bad thing. Lovely. This person's going for a transformation as well. 
you are not alike, which is really interesting, which is something, you know, you think, oh, that's a bad thing, but actually it's a really good thing. Because if you're extremely sensitive, you want somebody who's the opposite of that to balance you out. This person looks at things in the bigger picture. You're more of internal, they're more external. They do like to um, get a lot of energy from other people. They are somebody who gets, um, they are very, uh, what's the word? What's the word, please? They're an extrovert. You're more of an introvert. They do have um, introverted qualities, but they are, they, they, they can get involved with a group of people. Um, they're very family orientated. They don't, they're not like family, like do or die with their family. They like people who authentically love them. Not, they're not like, okay, I have to be with my family because they're blood related to me. Like they love their family because they love them. You know, it's like an equal partnership. They love equality. They, they are very strong viewed with equality. So the relationship, <laughs> this is the same as group number two. This is a relationship between you two. Very intense with the tarantula. This is some. This is somebody who you might be scared of at first because the, the romantic connection is unreal, off the charts. Very scary because it's something you never had before. So just be very gentle with yourself with this connection and understand that this, okay, I'm actually hearing very strongly that if you have a grandfather or grandmother in spirit or great grandma or anything like that, they're gonna help you find this person. Um, they're actually very, they know this person. This, this person in spirit knows of this person now on the earth plane and they're guiding you towards this person because they know that this person is good for you. Um, they haven't arrived yet in your life because basically you're not ready for them yet. Um, and not to say you're not doing enough, you're doing everything you, you are, you're, you're per doing everything perfectly correct. Um, it just feels like it's just not the right time yet, okay? Basically, that's, that's basically it really. Very intuitive connection. Um, as I say, it can be very scary, can be feeling almost threatening because you're like, I'm not used to this. I'm not used, this is easy. I'm confused. <laughs> um, so it's gonna be kind of confusing, but it's gonna be absolutely perfect for you. You may feel the need to kind of coil up and be like, I don't wanna share because I've been hurt in the past. Your person's gonna be like, do you know what? Share when you can. And I'm gonna allow yourself, I'm gonna allow you to be you and I'll be patient with you and I'm not gonna rush you. That is so sexy. I love that. Okay, right, let's have a look at the timing. Let's see any numbers that wanna come through. Seven, lovely. Okay, so number seven, I love the number seven. It's a very spiritual, it's a very clear number. So it's funny how we have clear quartz in number seven because I always associate number seven with clear quartz. It's just a very spiritual number. It's all about clarity, like seeing clarity, seeing things extremely clear, like seeing things like, oh my God, makes sense now. Thank you, universe, you know? Um, it's almost like, you're in a car park, you're trying to find a parking space and you get it straight away. Or somebody moves out of a space and you go into that space. It's kind of like just automatic things moving as they are smoothly, not forcing, not pushing. Um, this could be around the seventh month of the year. So that would be uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay, July, summertime. Um, this feels like somebody who is like a spiritual teacher. Um, there's somebody who has extreme spiritual knowledge. They are non-judgmental. They, they love humans. They love people. They love to uh, just be, they, they just love to be themselves. They love, they want to encourage people to be themselves. They have had a really hard life and they don't want anyone to ever feel like they're, they are not included. Um, they possibly were bullied at a young age. They possibly felt like an outcast, like a, almost like a black sheep kind of deal. Um, but they want you to be included. They, they want you to feel at home with them. And they actually get offended if you don't <laughs> because they want you to feel super, super at home with them. Um, and not to say they feel offended and that's a bad thing. It's just they care so much um, and they want you to be you. They, they, they fit so nicely with you. Like I'm seeing like a jigsaw puzzle and it being like the last piece. Your life is literally like a jigsaw puzzle right now. You're trying to find the pieces and everything's everywhere and it's been shaken up and the kids come along and just whacked all the pieces and everything's everywhere. And then when you finally get to this connection here, that last piece is just put in place and then it's like you're seeing the clearer picture. You're like, oh my God, that's why I went through so much crap. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I think get one more number for you guys. Number eight, lovely. So you guys are just gonna fit so nicely. There could be a Scorpio. Eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and Libra is a number seven. I'm gonna grab you the other dice as well. We're gonna see what else wants to come through. Okay, so we have the uh, brain engage, so <laughs> self node and cancer. So you're moving away from connections that were suffocating. Um, you're moving away from codependency. 
and you're moving into a much more authentic uh, connection with this person. And opposite the fourth house, which is Cancer, is the 10th house. So you could meet this person through your career. Um, and it's to do with what you want to give out into the world. So you both have a very strong connection. I'm seeing this as almost like a pyramid. Everything is just going to feel divinely guided to you. Everything is just going to feel easy as hell. It's going to feel so, 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 so easy. It's going to feel so easy. All right, let's get you some tarot. Let's see what's going on my lovely group number three. Okay, let's see. Let's give this a little bit of a shuffle. All right. Yeah, I'm just seeing this person just going to be like plop in your life and you're going to be like, oh, they're very attractive. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> They might have tattoos. They might have something on their face that you're going to be like, wow, that's fascinating. It might be a little scar. It might be like a mole in a certain place. It might be their nose is an unusual shape. Um, something like that. They're very work orientated. You're, you have been very work orientated recently. Wow, look at that. Sexy as F. I love the death card. I'm a Scorpio. I love the death card. <laughs> sexy to me. I think it's sexy. I love transformation. I just love the way people transform. Look at that. I love this. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. This person loves the color red, the color black. They love intense colors. They, they're not afraid to transform. They're not afraid to see the underworld of things because they know it's just another part of humanity. You know, it's nothing scary. It feels scary sometimes, but it's nothing that we can't handle. Okay, I'm gonna pull you a couple more cards actually. I wanna see what this little guy here is all about, this nine of cups. This is just going to be so simple and you may think it's going to be complicated to meet your person, but it's actually really simple. Um, it just is, is taking longer than what you expected because you're not going to be attracted to this. You, you, the person, if you had your person right now, you would not be ready for them because they are not on your wavelength yet. Okay. So at the moment you'll learn to become balanced with your emotions. You'll learn to have patience and you'll learn to walk away from things that cause you pain and have caused you heartbreak and have made you upset. And this is walking away. And actually, this is this is actually a very intense message. This is you looking at the pain that you've had and you're acknowledging it. You're like, Do you know what? I went through so much crap and I acknowledge that. And I'm so proud of myself for getting through this because this is so powerful and not, not everyone could do it. You know, not everyone could do it. A lot of you guys are Scorpios. I really feel that because you guys, Scorpios go through so much. It's so weird what we do, okay? Um, but I feel like you have really worked on your work and you're like, okay, why is, why is it just work and no play, you know? Through this work, through this discovery, through helping others, you're going through a death transformation, moving away from neglect and people who really hurt you, and then finding your balance, <clears throat> and then finding this person who just is just straight away connected to you. This person could be an Aries as well, really, really strong connection. So they might like fast cars, and I'm also hearing the fast car song. Uh, is it Tracy Chapman? pretty sure not sure but I'm also seeing a man playing a guitar so they could they could like acoustic uh, music they could play the guitar I'm hearing like Jack Johnson um I'm actually hearing Matthew McConaughey I've no idea why um there's another one as well what is that person's name I mean John Lennon and oh, what is that who is this person John something John oh, I always forget his name uh he's the one who did uh, the song Daughters, is it Daughters? Uh, oh, he's, so, he's got such a pretty voice. I can't remember his name. Um, let me just have a look. Okay, I was thinking of John Mayer. I had, to, I had to Google it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Private readings are available down below along with my crystal store. Thank you so much for your constant support. I appreciate you. I love you very, very much. I hope you have a lovely day. Look after yourself and I will speak to you soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number four. I feel like I need to sing a lot for this group. So if you're a singer, hi. I feel like I need to sing a lot. You guys, you guys need to listen to some music if you haven't already, because you guys need a good old sing song. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Um, right, so group number four, you guys chose citrine. Citrine is a very beautiful, happy crystal. I love citrine. It always makes me happy when I look at it. I just, I feel content when I look at citrine. So that's how you're going to feel with this person. Um, and that's what you're working on, that's your goal. So we're going to have a look at your energy first and then we're going to have a look into the relationship and um, how you're connected and things like that. So let's see what you have. Ooh, harmony. As I create, I will share. Harmony divine with love and care. Ooh, I love this. Beautiful. Integrity. That's sexy. It's very sexy red. 
Ooh, okay, so we have integrity and empathy. We have Hanael and Raphael. Apologies if my if I butcher those names. Oh, oh, we have two, okay. Uh, we have the Hierophant, the spirituality and knowledge. I love this beautiful picture, stunning. And then we also have the star, it's in the reverse, harmony and renewal. Um, right now you guys are learning to work on your patience. You're learning to um, figure out your path, like where's my destiny, where do I need to go? Um, feeling quite lost, feeling like you've been basically done over by the universe. You're like, oh, universe, you're so annoying. Like, you know, and you know, you're allowed to say those things, guys, because we're allowed to be pissed off. Like some people think like you're not allowed to be angry as a spiritual person. Girl, being angry is so healthy. You're allowed to do, be all these things. And just because you possibly think, oh, maybe I shouldn't be, doesn't mean you're not meant to be, you know, it's just, you're allowed to express those emotions. That's what I just felt really strongly to say. Um, okay, so we have spirituality and knowledge. That's what I feel like you're doing. You are basically um, planting seeds and sowing them right now. So you can see this this woman is like planting a seed here very subtly. I feel like you feel like you have to do things very grand to get noticed by the universe. Go, don't work like that, okay? What they're saying to me is that you just have to be you and you don't have to entertain or um, prove that you are worthy of something. You are just worthy of it already. If you're passionate about something, you're worthy of it, okay? Um, because you're born with this desire to do that thing. Um, my jaw is really, really hurting on my left side. I feel like you guys have had a lot of like pain in the past um, and you've held it within your jaw. So just have a little, while you're just sitting here or standing or whatever you're doing, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders and just take a deep breath in and out and just relax everything okay I feel like you put a lot of pressure on yourself you're somebody who looks after a lot of people um, and you're always caring about everyone else and sometimes you forget about yourself so um, that's basically what I feel like the main energy is right now is for you to just care for yourself and I'm seeing I'm getting really drawn to her top half I'm feeling like this is all to do with mothering yourself and uh, very cancerian energy very caring very nurturing a lot I mean um, cancer rules the breasts it rules and um, the heart the lungs or the, the upper part of the lungs. So this is all about you just being a loving, genuine person and surrounding yourself with people like that. And I feel like on your journey, you have given to people who really don't deserve your love because you're such a loving person and it takes time for people to really, sometimes it takes time for people to really appreciate somebody and it shouldn't have to, you know. People should love you for who you are and if they don't, then that's their problem. You know, they have obviously have things to work on you know and that's okay you know we're not meant to be with everyone um but the harmony is here to say that you're creating a, st a st more stable life for yourself um and just manifesting more just allowing yourself to not be so judgmental of yourself because I feel like you do expect a lot from yourself and therefore others and sometimes it can be really hard because you are so specific and not to say that's a bad thing by the way guys I just mean like because you're so specific, you can be really hard on yourself, you know, and just because you're hard on yourself doesn't mean this is a bad thing, okay? So I'm really being drawn to the psychic tarot. So I'm actually gonna look at the book and I'm gonna flick through one of these and I'm gonna pick you a card. I don't know why, they're just, that's what they're saying to me to do. So let's do that. Dedicated effort, work, perseverance, skill, and understanding, number eight. Okay, I'm going to read this for you guys. If you're not interested, please skip along. Uh, but I feel like this is very important. So this is the card that you guys got. So it says, creating and maintaining satisfying relationships takes effort and diligence. You've shown that you have what it takes and that you're dedicated. Through your life's experiences, you've learned some valuable inter inter interpersonal skills. Sorry, guys. Use these tools to continue to nurture your relationships with family, friends and your partner. It's easy to lose focus, especially when situations become difficult. However, you have the integrity and discipline to continue to work at improving your relationships with others. Your efforts will be rewarded. Yeah, it also says well-deserved reward as well. I love that. This is a good time to learn more about the people you're currently in a relationship with. The more you understand a person's belief, the easier it is to comprehend the motives behind his or her actions. This greater understanding will go far in fostering better communication. Learning new communication skills would also be useful at this time. You have what it takes to sustain positive, loving, supporting relationships. Keep up the good work. Perfect. So you're doing all the right things. It's basically just sometimes we can feel a bit lost because, you know, we are human. You know, sometimes it can be frigging difficult on this planet. Um, but just 
remember to focus on the things you can control and not the things you can't. And don't, don't stress yourself out, you know. You're doing all the right things and if you need to find a new project to work on while you, and be distracted while you're, you know, finding these particular people or a particular partner, then do that, girl. Like, maybe you might find something out about yourself that you didn't realise. Okay, so very deep messages for you guys. You're, you, are, you guys are the bigger thinkers. You guys are very big thinkers. I love it. All right, so let's have a look at your you and this person. So, oh, wow, that was quick. So this is you. <coughs> Amatrine. Oops. And black tourmaline. So this is you. So you're working on two different sides of yourself. That's possibly why you're feeling a little bit imbalanced recently. You guys, are, I feel like a lot of you guys are Sagittarians. You're very big thinkers. All right, this is your person. Hmm, <laughs> Cancer, I love that. I literally mentioned that earlier. And then we have a Charawite, bonding, acceptance, and service. Virgo, Scorpio, Sag, Chiron. So accepting things that you can't control um, and healing yourself and reconfiguring your old programming and facing your fears to living your truth. Very deep stuff. Wow, guys. No wonder you guys are feeling a little bit all over the place. So, right, this is your person. Sorry, this is you. This is your person. Feel free to swap them if you need to. So this is you, energetic, intuitive, and connected. We also have grounding, protection, and detox. Capricorn Sun, Libra, Jupiter, Neptune, Pluto. So you're literally rejuvenating your entire self around love. Um, you're learning to detoxify your anxieties. Um, also feel free to read these if you want a bit more information. But basically what this is saying is to alleviate stress during challenging life transitions. This crystal is also good at encouraging you to hop into the driver's seat and take control over your life. Aiding in discernment and clarity, Amatrine gives you the confidence to take the lead. I love Amatrine. And it's funny because you have Citrine, so that's literally the same thing. Amatrine is Amethyst and Citrine, okay? This is really good at helping you establish boundaries, um, helping you to release any unwanted mental energies and helping you stay, stay grounded. I love black tourmaline. Really good to put in near electronics as well to just stop the EMF waves. All right, your person, very watery. Could be a Cancer or a Scorpio Pisces. Could be a Taurus or Libra. Okay, this person, Cabalto Calcite. Beautiful. Love, emotional healing and compassion. Love is all you need, especially with Cabalto Calcite, a stone of unconditional love and forgiveness. This crystal promotes emotional healing above all else. This person is working on self-love. They're working on nurturing their inner child and they're giving their, this crystal gives you endless energetic hugs and says you're always supported. This person's really learning to just be okay with themselves. Um, they do give themselves a quite a hard time sometimes, but both of you feel very um, a bit confused on where you're at right now. So I do feel as if you're both going through a very similar energy. You more with your solar, solar sacral and crown, then more with their heart and their throat, possibly their root as well. Safety, they're working on emotional safety, like learning to express their feelings without judgment. Okay, so let's have a look at you in this relationship. Oops, you in this relationship. Yeah, I've got really strong Aries from this group, really strong like fire sign um, or Leo that could be as well. I love these cards, they're so satisfying. They all fit together, which I'm like, oh yes, the Virgo in me is like, oh, give me some of that. Okay, right, this person, oh, cutie. I love this, I love the eagle. He's a cutie. Okay, so we both have quite strong fiery energies. Both of you are really strong-willed. Like you cannot tell your, nobody can tell you no. This, when when you, this person gets told no as well, you both react in the same way. The the sexual attraction is going to be on point, okay? You both are extremely intelligent, um, extremely, like, noticeable. You get noticed quite a lot. You might be quite famous or somebody who wants to get noticed famously. Um, you're possibly an actor or actress, social media person. Um, you're somebody who likes attention, and I don't think you're afraid to say that. You know, I think you're somebody who just genuinely likes attention and this person likes it too. So both of you are very extroverted, I'm seeing. Or have quite extroverted qualities. And you may think, oh, I'm not very extroverted. But it could be when you're more balanced, you do feel more like you want to be extroverted. Oh, I've got a bit of anxiety there. I felt a bit anxious. So I feel like you do want to be seen, but you're also scared of being seen. Okay, so... This moth, also that comes with time, by the way, guys, like being seen, it can be quite scary. Um, but when you become much more seen, it also reveals quite a lot about yourself that you didn't realise. 
So I do feel like you are coming into like a really nice balance of transformation. You are letting go, I'm hearing willpower. You're having, you are needing to have a lot of willpower at this time to concentrate on your, on your path because there's been a lot of people who've told you no. There's been a lot of things that have told you no and there's been a lot of restriction. So you're coming into a more powerful energy and you're learning to friggin' stand up for yourself. You, you have been told no various amounts of times and you're fed up with it. You're like, no, I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> Sorry guys about my swearing. Sometimes it comes out. Um, but you're learning to be okay with your spirituality. This came out in the reverse. So a lot of you guys are scared of being authentically spiritual. You're both very sensitive and you have been scared of that. This person's learning confidence. This person's more introverted than you are, I'm actually feeling. It's kind of like goes in and out. But this person is very, um, they're very over the top in a good way. They're very dramatic, um, could be you as well. But this person's very, like they're very expressive. They like to do things on a big scale. They can be quite messy as well. Um, maybe not in like their objects, but when they, if they are an, like an artist or something, they love expressionist art, they love loud music, they love anything that's just like getting them noticed. But that's, they don't do it for attention a lot of the time, they just do it because they are very broad. Their energy is very wide. So they like to express themselves and just really just let themselves be a free bird. Um, literally like the eagle. So they are a leader. Um, both of you are very, very powerful. The moth is all about just really coming out of the darkness. And also you guys have been through a lot of darkness. You've been through a lot of stress in your life. You've been through a lot of fear and you are not afraid of it anymore, which is stunning. And I'm also seeing like your childhood bedroom. I'm also hearing like a nan or a grandmother. And I'm not sure if any of these people are present in your life, but I'm seeing like you in like your nan or grandma's house and you're just really having a great time. I don't know why it's coming through. Maybe you knew someone when you possibly, maybe someone who you're, maybe one of your grandparents knows somebody who you could be connected to, like a family friend or something. It just feels like somebody you know who's connected to your grandparents and that could be this person that you never thought you'd be around or it could be even a next door neighbor or, you, or, you, or your parents could have been your grandparents. That could have been your, um, your family figures people who you looked up to, so and people who you got stability from, or somebody who you even escaped from, like could be, like, or escaped to, sorry, somebody who, some way where you felt safe, so that's kind of a message, obviously that's not going to resonate with everyone, so just take that as it resonates. Okay, I'm just hearing you guys are very powerful, um, this is number seven, so this is a very spiritual number, this is a number of spirituality, I love the number seven, it's one of my fave numbers, it's very clear, like a very clear, concise energy, um, and you guys are going to feel very free within things. Yeah, here we go. Knight of Swords, just feeling freedom. You guys are going to break out of your shell at some point in different ways. Um, it could be you're finally going to take that job. You're finally going to do that course you want to do. You're finally going to speak your truth um, with someone or a situation. And it's going to lead you onto this new path. And you, you're going to be like, why didn't I do this earlier? But it's just because you need to learn your lessons. You know, you need to learn your the things you need to learn and there's no hurry there's no there's no regrets it's just you know I did what I needed to do at the time and that's what was good for me you know that's what I thought was right and I'm gonna carry that on you're coming out of emotional um I'm hearing complacency which I'm not sure what that really means here in this situation it feels like you're not your emotions aren't scattered you understand your emotions much better and because you've done the internal work and this could be a Virgo that you're going to meet could be a, a air sign or fire sign Somebody who is very, they're very righteous, like not in a bad way, not in somebody who's like, oh, I'm better than you. They're just somebody who is very powerful with their speech. They don't apologize if, you know, obviously they've hurt someone they do, but they don't apologize for speaking their truth because they love fairness. They're, they're not somebody who you can just take for a ride. They're somebody who genuinely loves you for who you are and they don't, they don't treat you like poop. They, they treat you like you're somebody who it's just really, really kind and they're, they're very kind and nurturing to you and they love you for who you are. And you may meet this person through a community or somebody you know or a friend. Um, could be to do with work. I'm seeing like in retail, if you guys work in retail, you could meet this person through a friend. Um, but through speaking your truth and coming away from people who are just like temporary, who you just, you know, aren't giving you the emotional stability you need you're coming into a new path of them and it feels very beautiful. And you've done the work, guys. You've helped a lot of people. You've helped yourself. It's time for you to get the rewards that you, you deserve, okay? 
Um, let me pull one more card for you guys. Just want to pull a couple more, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was picking up on that really strongly. A lot of you guys are Aries. I love that. If you're not an Aries, this person could be an Aries or just a very strong Aries character, very leader-y leader person. Could be Aries Moon as well. This says emotions, instincts, receptivity and safety. Cancer. Let's get you one more tarot card. I'm just hearing your judgment day is coming. You're going to get what you deserve. It's coming. I know everything's felt like Groundhog Day, but honestly, guys, it's, you're going to feel so much better. Everything's going to become clearer, okay? You're going, to, you're going to get what you deserve. And we have the Ten of Swords. Exactly. Moving away from anything that causes you pain and you're not being hard on yourself anymore. You're just like, eh, you know, it will happen when it's meant to happen. And I do see in terms of timing, I don't have a specific time, but I do feel like it could be the seventh month. Um, it could be seventh day of the month. It could be in seven weeks. Yeah, that feels right. About seven weeks, I'm feeling. So that could be for, so two months roughly. Okay, so I'm also hearing you guys could literally date your neighbour. It could be a neighbour you had when you were younger. And then you were like, oh, I'm not attracted to that person. But you may meet them just randomly at a supermarket or something. And you like, they could have moved away and then they come back. And then you're like, oh, wow, they've, they've gotten attractive. And then you're like, oh, um, hmm. And then you start to connect. Like, it's literally so random. You could even know this person from, like, a really long time ago. Um, or somebody you never thought you'd actually, you know, connect to. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want a private reading, all the information is down below. Please feel free to email me or Instagram message me to connect with me for a private reading. Um, thank you just for being here and supporting me and supporting my channel. I really appreciate you guys. You're amazing. Um, you're so lovely, all of you. And um, if you want to check out my crystal shop, that is down below too. Always updating that with new crystals and jewellery and things like that. So thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Much love. Bye.